Here we have an AET 4x10 solar thermal collector for domestic water heating. And the location this is installed in is in Winter Haven, Florida. And it's pitched at about 30, I'm sorry, 29 degrees right now, which is a, a good pitch for optimum annual collection. kind of hard to see these valves here because uh, I've got all this fiberglass and um, aluminum tape with mastic over it but uh, we have three valves here we have our air vent valve which removes any entrained air in the system and um, you always want to have this in the highest part of the system so that the air tends to collect there we have a pressure relief valve and it's uh, pressure only not pressure and temperature. There is no temperature probe. And then here we have a freeze valve made by Eaton. And um, <clears throat> basically what that does is it flushes potable water through the collector by letting water out here. And um, since we have a motorized check valve um, on the return line, water can only come in from the supply, which has to enter from the bottom of the collector over there and travel through the whole collector before it's purged out. So that's basically what keeps it from freezing in the, you know, the few times a year that it will get cold enough here in central Florida for that to happen. So it's an adequate freeze protection. Um, that's an adequate protection method for this part of uh, the world. Obviously if you start going north, um, freezing becomes more extreme and more common where you wouldn't want something like this as your only protection. That's basically how we're doing solar here in Central Florida.